guess what, kids? Andy san's got his own camera now, so that means he can finally vlog. Oh yeah, good times, good times indeed. So yeah, this is my first official vlog. Yes, I've done some uh, vlogging in the past, but that was with you know an inferior setup. Now I have my own camera, which is a uh, Sanyo Zacti CG6. You know, kind of a starter entry model for budget, cheapo, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, it's it's just really great for the money. I mean, I just wanted a camera with a flip-out screen because uh, I've operated on uh, my friend Ariopolis's camera, and uh, his is just like a basic like snapshot camera, like you know Kodak or something. So I wanted something with a flip-out screen because I always found it tedious to kind of you know go like this and then uh 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 to just kind of see you know what's going on. So I decided to get this little puppy off of eBay for about 122 bucks. Normal retail it sells for about 200, and uh, Walmart they had it a uh, clearance to like 133. So even with shipping and all that shit, which collectively added up to 120, I think it was 22 or 27. I don't quite remember. You know I saved like 12 bucks. So I mean bitchin'. But uh, the big drawback with this camera is that the uh, tripod mount is stripped which isn't really that big of a deal right now and I think honestly later on I could get it repaired for like next to nothing and uh, the only other like quote unquote problem is that it comes with a 512 memory card which means I can only hold about 20 minutes of you know video footage on this thing which isn't so bad I mean that's you know perfect size for vlogging but uh, if I wanted to do something more, like maybe capture some footage and then later on edit it and just kind of like compile everything, then we'd have a bit of a problem. So I plan on, not anytime soon, but you know, in the future, to uh, purchase a uh, bigger memory card, obviously. This thing is SDHC compatible, so I can go up to like four, maybe even like 16 gig, no, no problem. So I'm pretty confident about this camera and uh, the future that you know it will bring me because when I bought this camera my uh, parents were obviously a little pissed because right, right now I'm saving up for a car because my old one broke down in I think it was July I'll have to read my blog to be sure you can locate my blog at uh, www.theandysan.com anyway it, the truck broke down and I've been uh, looking for a new vehicle ever since Right now, I have about 250, maybe 240 uh, saved up for right now. And my parents are a little pissed because it's the beginning of September and I only have 250 bucks saved up. Now granted, I get paid this uh, coming Thursday, but still they're really quite pissed that, you know, I'm splurging all my money, you know, buying cameras and shit. But they don't realize the potential that a camera can bring me. I mean, look at, you know, Tay Zonday, freaking Chocolate Rain dude. He had, you know, camera, a sheet, microphone, and a piano. And he recorded Chocolate Rain, which got, you know, millions of views on YouTube. And got him, you know, gigs on, like, the Jimmy Kimmel show. And, you know, other things like that. Now, I don't plan on recording, you know, anything like Chocolate Rain or anything like that. But, I do plan on selling some of my items on eBay. S you know, just so that way I can save up for my vehicle faster than just simply working all the time. And, to be honest, I don't really like my job at Walmart that much. It's, uh, it's very, just, monotonous. And, uh, I mean, it's a very easy job. It's not really physically demanding or anything like that, which is good. Because, you know, I'm not that very physical of a person. But, it's just... It's the same thing, day in, day out, you get, you know, the same customers wanting the same things, talking about the same stuff, and it's just, it's really boring. You know, I want, you know, something a little more, I don't know, intellectually stimulating, which is why I have applied at Bowling Green State University. I plan on majoring in uh, Asian studies with an emphasis on Japanese. Now, this program is a three-year program, even though it's a bachelor's degree, which is, you know, a four-year program. 
but it's done within three years, which will save me a shit ton in the long run. Now, I also plan on a dual minoring in a management information systems and creative writing. I wanted to uh, dual minor in a management inf information systems and creative writing because with management information systems, I can utilize my old credits from ITT Tech and uh, actually do something with them because if I just, you know, majored in Asian studies and that was it, then all my old credits from ITT Tech would just, you know, go to waste. And besides, I have, I think, around 26 or 27 credit hours. So I figure, you know, what the hey, they're just kind of sitting around doing nothing. Let's, you know, actually use them. And uh, besides, I think I have enough, you know, for a minor in management information systems anyway. I may have to take like a class or two, but that's about it. Now, for creative writing, it's, it's a little bit more obvious why I'm picking that. It's because I want to uh, expand and uh, have my blog grow. Because I feel right now that my writing just isn't where, you know, I want it to be. I mean, it's getting better but not quite as good as I think it can be. Because, I mean, I've looked at some of my old, you know, my old posts and uh, some of the writing I did back when I was at Urbana University, and it's just like, I, I can do so much better. I mean, I've done a lot of great things when I was in college. I mean, so, you know, let's just try to go back. Even though, yes, I owe Urbana University a ton of money, but, you know, my mom insisted that, you know, I apply somewhere else and see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm just out 40 bucks for the uh, application fee. And that's about it. So, I decided, oh, what the hell, let's go for it. And I applied, they got my application fee, and uh, because my GPA was so low coming out of both high school and ITD Tech, they uh, said I wasn't accepted, but they gave me a chance to appeal it because my GPA was kind of like borderline. I think their uh, minimum requirement GPA is uh, 2.5, but mine was like 2.33 or like 2.0 or something like that. So it was close, but not quite up to their standards. So I was given the chance to appeal it, I obviously did. I sent in the appeal letter about a week or so ago, and uh, I haven't heard back from them yet, but I called them, not today, but uh, the other day, and they said that normally, since I applied for the spring semester, which is the beginning of, Jul of a January, I almost said July, <laughs> you know, it takes a little bit longer to process everything, which, I mean, I can understand, but also, in the same sense, I want to know if I'm going to college or not. So, I mean, I want to, uh, I don't want to go out and buy a bunch of things and then have them come back saying, you know, Andy, you're not accepted because of blah, 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 blah. Like, oh shit, I bought a whole bunch of stuff for my dorm and I can't use it. Fuck. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure as soon as possible you know, whether or not I'm accepted at Bowling Green. And if I am, then, you know, I won't immediately go out and buy things, but just kind of like one at a time because I still have a lot of old things from Urbana that I can still use, like my, uh, sheets and things like that, which honestly, when I went to Urbana, that was the most expensive thing to buy. So, yeah, I've got that covered. Got the trash can covered. I've still got like a shit ton of liners left from uh, my one of my old roommates. He, he uh, my first roommate at Urbana left, I think only like not even a month into it. And uh, he left a lot of stuff, like some of his posters and uh, trash liners, which, you know, thank God, because I had no freaking money. So, I mean, that, that saved me a lot. And I hardly ever used them when I was in college. I mean, it's mostly my new roommate that, you know, used the trash. I mean, I was very, I, I like to think, you know, I was very efficient with my trash. And plus, you know, I didn't really have a lot, so that kind of contributes to it, too. Now. I see that we're approaching the uh, 10 minute limit for YouTube, so I'm going to have to stop here and uh, let's just uh, sign off real quick. Okay, this is the Andy San, hoping that you guys all have a good day and I look forward to uh, seeing you all in the future. Bye now.